The issue with Chris Hemsworth is he's not a very good actor. He's not. And he's hiding behind mid-tier comedy. I've figured it out. I've figured it out. So, you know, as I said again, Thor, Thor Ragnarok was a disgrace. Announced was a disgrace. Anybody who's read Thor comics, one of my good friends who pretty much owns all Thor comics and so forth said the same thing that Ragnarok was, a, was an embarrassment. And I was shocked that they did that to the Thor character in Ragnarok. I was truly shocked that wait, you've, you've done this. I'm trying to just figure out where it all went wrong. You know, as I said again, I've seen the trailer for Love and Thunder. I've seen some of the scenes, and that thing looks like an embarrassment. It's literally Ragnarok, but even worse. So everything, so it's literally like everything you hear about Ragnarok is worse. Because some of the scenes I've seen in Love and Thunder as quite frightening. I'm seeing kids with thunderbolts. I'm seeing Bale do like a Sesame Streets kind of kiddie villain impression. So it's it's truly shocking. Like that is a film I'll never watch. Same thing with Captain Marvel because I've heard some stuff they've done in Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, For Love and Thunder, those are films I would never, ever watch, even for free, never watch, ever. So I said, like, what is it, what is it, what is it? So I'm just scrolling through Twitter, just looking at what guys were saying, and um, a guy posted a scene from Thor 1, and then the retweet said, um, what is, so, 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 so yeah, so the retweet said, um, Thor, yeah, Thor 1 and Thor 4 are from different universes. Huh? So I just clicked there, and I just looked at the scene, I was like, wow, oh, yeah, like... As much as I didn't really was not into Thor 1, it had some really good scenes. Then I went deeper into what I think is the best scene in, one of the best scenes in any Marvel movie, which is when Odin, I, I cast you out, when um, Odin uh, um, casts out Thor. I mean, Anthony Hawkins is amazing. So when Thor casts out, so when Odin casts out Thor in Thor 1, that's one of the most amazing scenes in terms of acting in any Marvel film. So I said, like, okay, okay. Like, okay, you know, so we actually had some scenes. This is actually a movie. So what is wrong? So my Hiddleston was really good. Anthony Hopkins was outstanding. If his elbow was good. And even the, the guys at the side who I thought could be used one, they were good as well. And um, Kom Fifiore, who was the um, villain, he was good as well. I said, what is the issue? It's Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth is the problem. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth is the problem. That casting has been what has ruined Thor completely. Because let's look at Thor the Dark World that people call one of the worst Marvel m m movies. Iron Man 2 is crap. Don't get it. Iron Man 2 is crap. But as bad as Iron Man 2 is, so is Iron Man 3. Bro. Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3, they're both bad. But as bad as Iron Man 2 is, who do you still have Danny Jr.? So as bad as it is, because Danny Jr. is on screen and Danny Jr. is is so well cast, it at least gives you something like, oh, okay, as bad as this is, Hey, at least Tony's there. At least Danny Jr. is, is doing his thing. If you had like an Alexander Skarsgård or a really good actor in that role of Thor, even within Dark World, because you because the, the title character is so interesting, it can still hold weight. The issue with Chris Hemsworth is he's not a very good actor. He's not. And he's hiding behind mid-tier comedy. So because he can't do any drama, because trust me, this guy has had chances. I watched Spiderhead. Guy was trash. The guy was generally garbage in that film. So because he can't do dramatic acting, he's hiding behind comedy. So the issue is Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth has completely, totally destroyed the Thor character. Because what's, if you if you read the, the comics, Thor, it's a balance. It's a balance because he's so arrogant and so full of him himself. It's a balance between comedy and drama. But it's a very fine line and you have to really find the right balance within the character because the character, he's comedic, but not directly. The comedy comes from how arrogant he is. So the comedy is indirect, which is what they were trying to do in Thor 1. Because of how he talks and how he thinks of himself and the kind of character he is, when he interacts with other regular people and other people, that's where the comedy comes through. The co he isn't comedic in and of himself. The comedic is indirect. If you've read the comics, that's how he is. So, it's, and to do that, because what they just thought was, and I think I even talked to um, my, my friend about it, they were like, let's just pick a really um, attractive dude, 
that looks like Thor in the comics and boom, we'll just, you know, we'll just go with that. Rather no, pick an actor. Cause because you know what's it called? Um Tom Hiddleston, he auditioned for the role. He auditioned for the role. That would have been a very different Thor movie. So the issue the issue is Chris Hemsworth, because there isn't you can't if you put him in any dramatic situation, your film will fail. Like he was in Black Hat with Michael Mann, that's bombed. Spider-Head, this thing that he's in, he's trash. Like opposite to Miles Teller, who is a far superior actor, the guy's trash. So and the, but but the issue is as I'm watching this, this isn't Thor. When I look at Ragnarok and this piece of crap love and thunder, Taiko or Watiti, cool yeah, comedy and so forth, this is not what's doing. This is Greek myth. This is Zeus. This is Hercules. This is like gladiator esque. You know, like what's it called? I watched um, the Northman with with, with Skarska. That is the world in which Thor should be in. That the game God of War. That is the world that Thor should be in, not this comedic trash. Because what they've done to the characters is shocking. And you know what's so dangerous about Love and Thunder? This is what is so dangerous. Sixty-five percent Rotten Tomatoes. A lot of audiences like it, and this 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 was really frightening. A lot of audience, most people who are now watching this Thor film, they have never picked up a Thor comic. They don't really care about. It. They don't even know who the Thor character is. But they either find Chris Hemsworth attractive, or they love the comedy. So they're like, wait. As long as I'm happy and I'm laughing, it's all cool. Because if the general audiences love it, just like with Transformers, Disney couldn't give a crap what the critics think. All Disney care about is, do the masses like it? Are we going to get money? If so, keep doing it. And the issue with Taika Waititi is, he's a guy who obviously is, has tapped into the comedy of the masses. So for Disney, they couldn't give a crap about the integrity of the character. It's just about the box office. Do the audiences like it? If so, we'll keep doing the same thing. So... Wow, man. Thor, sad. Sad, bro. But the way I'm looking right now, I think I think Marvel is done, bro. I think I really I really believe Mar Marvel is done. And I think that um, James Cameron might just have an opening. Because, see, my fear with James Cameron was you've spent so long since 2009 that the world has changed. Marvel has taken over and now Marvel is now the new status quo. So you're coming into a world now on the back hills of Marvel. But in a in a in a crazy ton of events, this could possibly be the best. This could be possibly the, the best time for um, Cameron to come out with Avatar, because I do think because what I've just been seeing from people online is, I'm sure a lot of the masses will like it, but a lot of people are like, all right, these Marvel guys don't have any idea. This Phase Four hasn't been that great. The only thing that is holding these guys together is Spider Man and X Men. That's it. I've heard Spider Man and X Men, Doctor Strange 2, it wasn't really that well received. This Thor Love and Thunder is going to split fans. So, what's because, see, people who say, oh, Avatar, no one really cares, blah, blah. Um, it's so long. But here's the thing, though Twitter isn't the world. Facebook isn't the world. YouTube isn't the world. The world is the world. <laughs> so, we don't know what the masses who don't spend all their time on Twitter or online like we do, we don't know what they think about in your avatar coming out. And if guys are getting tired of Marvel, they need an alternative. And that alternative might just be Jimmy C. <laughs> so, but yeah, man, Thor, sad, man, sad.